My name is Jabir Handy. I'm 23 years old and I grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. So at the age of 16, I was arrested and charged with second degree murder, first degree assault, and second degree assault. Um, me and my grandmother had an argument about pictures on the wall. The arresting officers came, um, arrested me, took me to the um, homicide station where they told me that my grandmother had died of a heart attack. and. Um, Basically, from then on, I was in the adult system, the Baltimore City Detention Center. I was there for 11 months where my first encounter with something bad would be me having a shower with a woman that was twice my age. Um, my second encounter would be me having a squat and cough while on my menstrual. And then just the overall, you know, conversations, whispers about me being a killer. So. Uh, I want to say this, um, my five year anniversary of being home for five years just passed in September 9th, 2015. So I've been home for five years. Um, but that day for me was probably just like my first time learning how to walk. Um, the air and everything was, was fresh. And the only thing that I could actually, you know, was upset was that I would have to be on probation. Um, and that was for, like 30 days. So I was waved down to the juvenile system and I was actually able to encounter juvenile responsibilities um, being, you know, uh, ready by 21 where they give you a placement for home um, and they also give you a voucher for clothes and bedding from where you come home. Now because I had a felony, those things, I couldn't get any of those things. So it was very hard for me coming home because I went, I came home, I got into a program, I got off of probation and everything was fine on my end. I did everything I was supposed to do. But then I'll go back to court and they're like, okay, well, you're done with us. You're done with probation with us. We don't have anything for you. And I'm like, okay, well, where's my vouchers? Oh, you don't get vouchers because you have a felony. Okay, well, do I either get to go to Ready by 21? No, you don't get to do that any you don't get to do that either because you have a felony. So I'm, I'm like, okay, I don't need any handouts. I'm gonna try to go to school. So I enrolled in CCBC and I wasn't able to attend to CCBC because I had a felony. So it seemed like everything was spiraling, spiraling down. I wasn't able to get a job. I wasn't able to attend school. I wasn't able to you know, even get things from Department of Juvenile Services. I didn't have a place to stay. And it was just a, a lot but I met a group called Just Kids um, Campaign um, where they reached out their hand to me and was like, look, we're help. we will help you. And one of the first things they did was put in um, for me to get all my record expunged. So I would say for every young person that five years is a long time for me to be home. And if I did it, you can do it too. Um, the other is don't close, you know, don't close doors on people who's reaching their hand to you because they're reaching their hand out for a reason. And the last but not least is that you can be a mentor no matter what age, um, no matter what color, and no matter what degree.